art business advice. I said draw with Prisma markers, Prisma color pencils. You know what I like about uh, Prisma pencils is that they're pretty much solid in there. Whereas a marker, I need to blend it in. Go over it again to uh, make it solid or complete. <clears throat> but it's quicker. It's quicker than uh, using a pencil. I have to be more careful with this one with the marker because I could um, mark up something that I don't want. Blended effect here. <coughs> I'm watching this YouTuber. I think his last name is Straussman, I think. I'll double check. But he's a, um, a MacBook repairman. And does a lot of tutorials online on YouTube. You can see them. Please tell me that this one will go up higher. It's not going to fit. What was I got? And I think the title of the video was, uh, and how to grow your art business or art business advice. But he spoke about building your business organically. Not to be like Uber Eats or Uber and just have our investors and just fucking spend it all and not really make a profit. So we we'll call that hype beast. Hyping it up. There's a marker right now in the corner. <clears throat> also, I have to cover with the ruler here because since it marks the ruler, I have to cover that it doesn't mark a place that I don't want it to mark with color. And I'm going to use a Dan Pena's uh, words here when he says, uh, in business, I'm not interested if you're going to be first or be unique. I think right now, this topic I'm speaking about is more important than what's the other edge? Because the room is broken right there. It's more important now than, let's say, than just last year because so many shops that are closing. This dude was saying how. You 
know, because of the lockdown, I was able to, uh, with every Apple store closing, closed, we had this turnaround date. And it was embarrassed on this turnaround date because we had just so much work. Even though Apple, the Apple Genius Bar, it does uh, rip you off, generally speaking, in my opinion. Also, the marker you to go quick because if you don't, it'll um, bleed on the paper. And I'll keep the marker there because uh, I don't want to go over. When I started thinking about uh, Dan Payne's advice, be, be first or be unique. <clears throat> and the people have told me, damn dog, you're still working on that, man. When is that going to be finished? I have, I have um, a painting that I'm working on. Then uh, clean this ruler off right now over here. Clean the edge off. Clean the edge off the roof so you don't get the marker on it but um yeah that white why don't you finish already with that I say dude uh you know if I sell plan to sell the piece for a good amount of money I need to make it look uh shit in my opinion I need to sell when I sell something I need to sell it I need it to sell itself can't say, hey, give me a million dollars for this. No, no, because there'll probably be people out there that have a million dollars that just in in their way. They need to uh, get rid of it, maybe, but when they're bored or maybe they need a friend. Can I buy this painting from you? Can we be buddies? It's here's the ruler's broken right there. I don't know how. So we'll lose the other side of the edge. But um yeah, dude, I think you know who I saw um one time um I saw a lot of the customers and I never I never met the vendors or even um, don't know where their store's located at. I remember one time seeing a, a group of people uh, throughout the day in the, um, the fancy part of Los Angeles. Um, they, they, were, <laughs> they were all carrying plants on the street. I'm thinking, what the fuck? Um, that's what I noticed first. Just, just the plants because they were taller than their fucking head. And, uh, then I see, see if we get closer, when we approach them, we get nearer to them. I look at their plant pot. It's, uh, it's, Basically, it's, it's still a pot. But whatever the store did, this vendor did, this uh, designer did, this planter did, I don't know who the fuck made it. Um, a man or a family or a company, I, I don't know. But what they did is they put it, uh, the pots weren't that big, they were whatever the fuck this is. And, 
five and a half inches uh, with circumference radius. I'm cleaning the ink off this ruler again. And, uh, and they were small. So what what the what but what made me stand out was they these people had a basketball that they cut out they so they so if there's a basketball here. You can also buy your cheap ass one dollar pin sharpeners at Target, all right. But or Walmart or ninety nine cent store. So this is a basketball here. To put a hole in it in the center. So the pot could fit in there. And uh, yeah, this dude was, this person uh, was selling them, I suppose. You know what? I noticed that they were selling them because they saw just more people walking uh, down the street with them. And uh, it's not cool, you know, cool, awesome, man. You know, gardening. I think gardening is good for um just about anyone now just go out there and think in my opinion it helps you become unselfish reminds you to hey you're not the only fucking life form here man you know plants animals you know water them and uh but yeah so um i'm not going to skip be first or be unique. And uh, I'm trying to think, flower. You go to the flower district of uh, in downtown Los Angeles. Um, I forgot what this dude would make a killing. But he, uh, you go down there, you just see plants, just. Uh, Lighting in here because now this one's dark over here. Let me go through that. Right. I can't see it very well though. If it doesn't fit, it's gonna ruin the camera shot. The video's ruined. Yeah, you know, be be unique, man. Because I've seen <sighs> there's just one spot that I uh, wanted to at one time. Drive it, I would drive by this place a lot, man. a lot, a ton, a ton. <sighs> and um, no, I, I felt this one, man. I, I felt this one. I never met the lady, but I did read about her in the newspaper once because uh, it was back when. Um, I think this building in downtown it was newly constructed. It used to be in a, it's, it's still, well, there are a lot of homeless and a lot of lots, a lot of just vacant lots, just gravel basically. And someone said, fuck this, man, we could, it's business here, you know? And I thought, good, you know, before I used to think, eh. Um, it's just more, more clutter, more, um, um, more entrapment, more, um, it's more unnecessary stuff. But then I started realizing, you know, this, this dude's, uh, you know, sometimes I see 
homes or they build a house in the backyard or apartment buildings or anything. Come on, dude. Like that that's a lot there, dude. That's um makes the a residential area look fucking like a favela or a or a ghetto or a tenement. Good thing with this housing crisis now, you know, just real estate dropping. Yeah, they probably eliminate some of that shit. Less people in Los Angeles. I believe more people are living in California now than are entering. Then he's uh, this place let me clean the ruler off. Um, remember the first tent? The first tenant there was a it was a business suit. It's like a a suit store. And I drove by it and I thought, fuck, you know, uh, um, it was clear window so you could walk uh, walk around it and see everything inside. And uh, and, it, and it was women's clothing. It was we women's business suit. I want to read the article about the woman who, um, who made it. I believe that she won a uh, jackpot. And that she said, you know, instead of just going on vacation, that she's going to pursue her dream of um, being a business owner. She gambled and to fast forward, you know, it just didn't work out. And then she, um, business closed. In that area right there, there's restaurants there. Let's see, restaurants. Where the business restaurants? There was a whorehouse over there. What office supplies? What else is there? You know, car dealership. But uh, she wanted to uh, compete. But yeah, I don't think her product was uh, was unique. Uh, you know, but the market has spoken, the people have spoken. Just like people have spoken that Joe Biden will be our president. Fuck that motherfucker. Beijing Biden, my nigga. I think I went to his uh, Facebook page. Beijing Biden. Look, or thank you for winning. Or thank you, let the communism begin. Some shit like that. I don't care about uh, getting my shit deleted anymore. It's probably the upcoming video. Living in a world with not um, social media, business with social media. Press on the ruler hard. Move this shit. I got this out of market years ago. Years ago, and you're still good. Kind of from the hood connection. What fucking thug that I knew. Hey dog, wanna buy this set? I just thought they were like whatever, like like Crayola. 20, 40 bucks. I'm like, Alright, I'll give you. Ah, 40 bucks for it. Yeah, cool. 
They're worth a lot more than that. Yes, it was a Democrat that I bought it from. <laughs> All right, that's it for now, motherfuckers. Get after it and go forward. Trump, 2020. Communism, 2021.